So I think maybe I should give you guys a little tour of my uh, childhood bedroom. Even though it looks nothing like it did when I was a kid, my parents did renovations when I moved away. Originally when I went to university. Uh, this is my room. Yay. All of my old music stuff is in the corner. Uh, I made that globe for Christmas one year and then uh, this is the rose that I pressed from grandpa's funeral, and this is one of the ones that we dried. Got my parents' suitcases, my suitcase that I travel with, all of, oh geez, I forgot these were here. So when I was cleaning my room this morning, I found um, some of my old <laughs> memorabilia. So my older sister and I did a scrapbooking class. This is my scrapbook page. That's me, right there. Lots of pictures of me singing as a kid. That's me as a snowman. And then this was my older sister's scrapbook page. You can tell that hers is much better. Then I found this box, which is a box of, oh geez, things like conga across Canada from when I was in senior kindergarten. Aw, they used to give us these little, little award sheets to be the best you can be. My kindergarten report card. Oh geez, let's see what they said. Let's see what they said. Oh, was not very good at spatial awareness or um, fine motor coordination. But what was I good at? I, apparently I wasn't really good at much in kindergarten. Tara participates fully in all of our activities and has made steady progress with language and number skills. Oh geez, fine motor skills need some work. Oh geez, I'm so glad that's improved. According to this, I made it to grade one, so that's the important part. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. My babysitter's manual, um, you took this babysitter's course with the Canadian Red Cross um, when you were like 13. It has like Zeller's coupons. To give you guys context, Zeller's was kind of like, like it had the same color scheme as Target, but it was definitely not Target for my non-Canadians out there. Oh, uh, Zeller's was a very interesting place. Oh, my graduation from the Girl Guides of Canada. I was a patrol leader for the Oriole Patrol. I have a social studies book. What on earth is in here? Water slide, Lion Safari. I spelled it Lion Safari. I drew the Canada flag. Green. What on earth was I thinking? Oh, I said a place to work is a hospital. Well, you heard it here, folks. Tara knew she was gonna be a doctor in grade one, even though she's gonna be a singing doctor. Accountant is my mom. Oh, geez. Mom never wore makeup, so I don't know why I gave her purple eyeshadow. Oh, geez, we've got more. What have we got here? Oh. It says, I love you forever. I like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. And it's from a Robert Munch book called I Lo I'll Love You Forever. And Robert Munch, like he would come and speak at the, and tell his stories at the River Run Center. Oh geez, those were, those were times. Okay, there's more of these. Let's see what else we've got. It's me. I think the thing we did with this was we like wrote over it in crayon and then we put like watercolor on top if I remember correctly. And it's like, my birthday is, I am five years old, my favorite color is blue. My favorite color has always been blue. That's never changed. My favorite food is long noodle soup. A princess crown. Oh, like a car with wax paper and my face on it. One of the faces has fallen off, but what other cool things are in here? Halloween mask. I wanted him to be very smiley. Look inside and you will see who loves you best. Me. Oh geez, my haircut and my clothes were so 90s. My swimming lesson report card. Sometimes you get discouraged because I'm so small and always leave my fingerprints on furniture and walls. But every day I'm growing and I'll be grown up someday and these teeny tiny handprints will surely fade away. 
So here's a final handprint just so you recall exactly how my fingers looked when I was very small. Aww. And that's it for this box. So now I've got these two bags of stuff. I was obsessed with dinosaurs after dinosaurs <laughs> came to the Bruce County Museum. So I have a dinosaur that I've had since I was a kid. And then I have a bunch of trophies because if you didn't know, I was really nerdy and <laughs> I was a competitive public speaker in elementary and high school. So, and they would give us trophies. I had an award from when I was in, graduated from elementary school. I won uh, the honor award for bus patrols. Yeah, and the rest of them are public speaking in various manners. They all have podiums on them. And I've kept them for some reason. Oh, then, this is what my bed looks like. My most recent uh, knitting project. And um, pictures from when I graduated from university. So now that I've shown you kind of all of this, oh, bright, 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 bright coming out of my room. Now that I've kind of taken you through my childhood bedroom, which I'm gonna turn off the light. Bye. Um, I'm gonna go study, because that's what I do all day. It's just study.